Hi all, let's have a look at another amazing game, Leela against Stockfish in a chess con blitz battle, five minutes with a two second increment, stage three, 2018. This was after the aborted game with a technical issue where Leela was a rook up. And so the Grunfield has to be repeated. It was the thematic position. The book moves given in the Grunfield up to here, C takes D5. So this is the end of the book. And they both repeat exactly the same moves for quite a while now. E4, knight takes, B takes, bishop g7, rook b1, so leader's pet, rook b1, c5, knight f3, black castles, bishop e2, c takes, c takes, and now this check picking up the a2 pawn. So this is kind of Leela's specialist gambit against the Grunfeld. Will Stockfish do better in this encounter? White castles, leader castles, b6, yet with the idea of trading off the light square bishop and of course neutralizing the rook on the b file, blunting the rook a bit. Rook e1, bishop a6, so all so far so good and exactly the same. Form pawn strategy repeated, h4. So interesting dynamics of this position. Just for convenience, I'll just mention them again. Black has two connected past pawns out of the opening. White has a two to one. Uh, pawn majority in the center with a form pawn uh, which can be dangerous on the dark squares in particular so it's very interesting how the dark square strategy can be mixed with the d pawn it seems bishop takes e2 rook takes uh, now queen e6 getting out of the way of any potential discovery attack from the the rook which would be hitting the queen say the bishop moves somewhere could be dangerous in advance we have h5 queen d7 d5 knight a6 using that square c5 supported by the pawn h6 so installing the form pawn once again and this is exactly the same move so far until this point queen d2 so in the previous game which has been featured on the king's crusher youtube channel we had uh, the move rook a e8 in this position here stockfish changes that to bishop f6 so that deviates now bishop f6 and it's a provocative move seemingly not worried in fact wanting e5 and Lila delivers e5 bishop drops back d6 this does give a blockading square e6 to the knight the bishop drops back rook ac8 rook e3 Rook c6, now rook d1 supporting that d6 pawn. And now bishop h4 putting pressure on this diagonal. e takes, e takes, rook c4. So putting some pressure on this h4 bishop now, trying to discourage perhaps knight e5, which would leave the bishop loose. The bishop drops back. So at the moment, white's pieces are simply supporting, it seems, the d6 pawn. However, Leela wants to get rid of this defensive bishop on this diagonal with a move like bishop e5 rook c2 and it seems a bit passive this move queen e1 but the mission is still on course with this move and it wouldn't be with a seemingly more aggressive move like queen d3 for example this is just leading to some sort of repetition queen just being kicked around so queen e1 keeps the tension in the game and still with ideas of knight e5 or bishop e5 we have bishop c3 and the queen is happy to go to f1. It seems already this is a very dangerous position. And in fact, uh, Lila could, well, before we check out bishop c3, as an example, a5, this position is quite nice for white, where white's actually getting a big advantage with the d pawn. And this is crashing through. For example, like this is absolutely winning. For white so there's already some ominous tones undertones to this position if a move like a5 so bishop c3 trying to do something it seems as well as queen f1 what Leela played it seems already perhaps instructively to look at this rook takes as the exchange sack is powerful with the form pawn here and the dark square bishop's absence is felt in the variations starting with f3 in this particular position which supports knight g4 without queen takes g4. So for example, 
queen a3 knight g4 and this scenario is a bit like the aborted game we have a strong d pawn combining with the issues on the dark squares and it's just too much for black to bear black will be just losing material for example like this that was actually forking queen and rook and this is just too much for black to bear let's have a look at this yeah i mean it's it's incredible but rook takes c3 seems to be working as well but queen f1 a5 now the queen comes back with a vengeance on the light square bishop f6 now knight e5 hitting black's queen and black snaps off on e5 to any over the ball player they'd be horrified to do this giving up that defensive bishop but on queen d8 technically with the d pawn unblockaded this is nasty after knight takes f7 taking the rook this is all crushing that loses the rook there if the rook comes back to take then bang rook takes e6 and this position is crushing if we look at this this continuation is absolutely murderous for example like this check mate so all of these variations look pretty bad actually if the queen moves because of this d pawn moving basically uh, and then the king safety issues so bishop takes this just seems a horrific thing to do with weakened dark squares also with a, an amazing form pawn it just looks absolutely delightful for white to have this rook c1 rook e e1 rook takes rook takes knight f8 so black is the strongest engine technically in the world and trying to defend this position is it trying to defy gravity because it just looks absolutely magnificent visually to have a dark square bishop on weakened dark squares plus the menacing form pawn queen g4 d7 and what's adding to black's woes is this d pawn stockfish gives up the knight yes why did stockfish give up the knight there if rook d8 rook e1 is crushing in this position there's an echo of playing queen c3 all the time for example the queen is guarding d4 but queen c3 is the weakness for example rook takes d7 queen c3 threatening checkmate and also on h8 as well so f6 this is just crashing through there's just spike checks the king goes to g3 and there's no more checks that would be ridiculous to do that and if we look at this again uh on rook e1 rook takes d7 if we have a look at knight takes d7 same kind of story a little bit different with a knight on d7 black can play f6 but now check the problem is this this diagonal is ready to go into king f8 if king h8 then the queen just goes into f7 and thank you very much form pawn supporting queen g7 checkmate if black's best is this it's not very promising so let's go with king f8 then there's bishop a3 check and this is a disaster for slightly different reasons the knight is undermined immediately and then white is just winning lots of material and mating soon so yeah stockfish basically capitulates giving up a piece here it's not enough f3 is even more accurate it seems than just taking uh, the knight immediately so a whole bishop up basically the rook can't even move because of rook d8 is checkmate can't even move off the first rank now these pawns are easily picked off it's just a clearly winning position so this other pawn's taken off and yeah it's kind of all over really by the shouting Leela just needs to do a few more light touches here it seems at the moment uh, the king has to make a walk to win this position and we do get a lot of uh, maneuvering eventually Leela gets her king snaps onto the right plan eventually by getting her king to invade the position with the power of Zugzwang soon so we see the power of Zugzwang emerging here. Now King d5, the king's been pushed back. It's just the bishop up and now the king infiltrates, taking out h7. g4 here, yep, it's hopeless. Yep. Pawn's queening and it's just hopeless. And then the final deliverance of chatmate, making a spectacular, in effect, 
two zero in this variation of the Grunfeld, which is a very respectable opening at super GM levels. Uh, it's one of the top, like including, for example, the, the Slav defense. They have massive popularity at super GM level. Leela has what seems to be a very dangerous system. If it can beat Stockfish twice with virtually the same template ingredients, form pawn plus central D pawn mobility, uh, trying to get rid of that dark square bishop later and a knight hopping via g4 it seems in both games we're starting to get some interesting patterns emerging which would be very instructive for any over the board player or online player to try and imitate and master this this is really does seem a piercing system against the grunfeld uh, but it is in this gambit black has to play ball and accept this gambit but it's amazing dynamic compensation being illustrated twice in a row against the number one chess engine in the world is this an end of an era approaching will Lula start to master other openings and find dynamic paths in other openings which you can just simply reuse basically uh, so this is remarkable stuff if you enjoyed this game video annotation and analysis then please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net and you can play against other youtubers uh, there's also a link in the description uh, you can also check the analysis of this game and all the analysis updates from the improved menu learned from the masters and you click YouTube order you'll see all this analysis uh, comments questions donations see the description uh, like shares subscribes with the notification bell all really appreciated hope you enjoyed it thanks very much